I have hair in my mouth. <laughs> what are you wearing? No polar bears were injured in the making of this coat. It's oh, fake. The light on this is bad, but this is pretty hysterical. So it is day two. <laughs> I'm trying to get the hair off my tongue. Of the Keto Summit Omaha, and we're going to head out the door to the convention right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews, we do recipe videos. Sometimes Rachel licks my jacket. We, we talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for keto on the couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I think the cold weather and like the only little bit of sleep and the meat coma from last night is I, making us a little loopy. Yeah, you a little punch drunk today? I think you're a little punch drunk. You're licking my jacket. Well, I can't get the hair off of my mouth and, and, and this is just more hair. <laughs> and I don't understand how vloggers sit here and walk around for hours like this. My arm hurts. Well, you could be like Popeye, the sailor man. <laughs> I gotta switch arms. That hurts after a while. Oh my gosh, there's more hair in my mouth. <laughs> So guys, it is day two of Keto Soma in Omaha. We had a great day yesterday. We were getting a little bit of a late start again, but we wanted to make sure we got yesterday's video yeah. up. So we're gonna head out the convention center. I went out to warm up the car and it's really, really, really cold out there. Crazy cold? How cold is it? I don't know how cold it is, but it's so really easy. cold. So easy, Rachel could freeze. <laughs> So we're gonna head out the door. We'll check in with you guys later. Remember, today's vlog is gonna probably be a combination of today and the trip home, but we're hoping to get some cool interviews. Yeah. Let's do this. Oh wait, am I first out the door into this freezing tundra? Why not? How cold is it? Oh my gracious. It is cold now, be careful, it's very slick. I thought this coat is crazy. I am never gonna need something this warm, but I was mistaken. I was, I should buy this coat. Look at this. It is freezing. What is the temperature, do we know? No idea. It's a funny story. It's not funny yet. <laughs> We're from Florida. So yesterday, the really nice lady at the kombucha booth yes. gave us a half a gallon glass jug glass. of kombucha. I want to emphasize glass. We were trying to figure out how we were going to get this home. Problem solved. The two Florida people completely forgot we were in Omaha. Left it in our car. We left it in the car. I opened up the car door and I'm like... What's, What's that, that smell? smell? Now the thing is, is that when I came out to warm up the car earlier, I didn't smell it. So evidently, kombucha, kombucha, it freezes. Yeah. It causes the container it's in to explode. Yeah. We also need to find a Band-Aid now because cleaning it up, I have cut myself in several places. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens. We didn't get all the glass cleaned up. I used an old shirt to mop up as much kombucha as I can. I sprayed some poopery. We sprayed some poopery, but there is now fermenting kombucha on the floor in the back seat. This will be interesting to explain to the rental car company. Yeah. There's something about the weather the day after a snowfall. There is not one cloud in the sky. Not a cloud in the sky. It's chilly. It looks, when you look on the ground, you see snow. But then when you look throughout the rest of everything, it's like gorgeous. It's just Like beautiful. not dreary like when you're having the snowfall. It's like blue like a crayon. But I'm cold. True. So I'm getting inside. Boy, it didn't take Rachel long. No, right, man? <laughs> You're like perfectly put here. I know. While this, we're here, you gotta do this coffee. Yes, oh my gosh. So this is bourbon barrel coffee. It's cloud, 
Clout Coffee is the actual name of it. Right. Can you tell us a little bit about this coffee? So, you want to, you want to talk or you want me to? Do you want green light? I'll talk. Okay. All right, so uh, my wife Carol started this about a year and a half ago on a concept of bringing bourbon and coffee together because she is a bourbon fan and a coffee fan. Brilliant. So what we do is we take raw Colombian beans and put them in a freshly dumped bourbon barrel. And it's just kind of whatever she feels like for a bourbon. Magical. Uh, and uh, we roll the barrel several times a week to get the beans all mixed up and they absorb the flavor of the bourbon. And then after a period of time, uh, I roast the coffee beans and come up with bourbon barrel coffee. It is Magic. amazing. <laughs> It is totally magical. It is all of the flavor without any guilt, right? You can drive home after you drink some of this coffee. But it is so good. And for someone who drinks their coffee black like I do, it really is a treat because all of the flavor in this coffee, it's completely action-packed. It's delicious. Can they get it online? Yes. So if you uh, you can go to our web website, which is right here, cloutcoffee.com. And what's interesting about it is if you buy it online, you can see here we have it uh, barrel numbered. Awesome. You can actually read about the the barrel that these beans barrel, came from. Yeah. And it's twenty dollars a bag online. Twenty a bag, and forty dollars for the awesome bottles. Look at these beautiful gifts. Well, awesome. So what we're drinking today, and what you see here, it comes from that barrel right there, and I roasted that three days ago, so it is extremely fresh. And Chad is actually not unfamiliar with keto. You've had an amazing success story on keto as well. Yes, I've been doing keto for about six months, and I'm down 40 pounds. Awesome. I feel amazing, amazing and starting to look better than what I was. So. Fantastic. It's well, great. This is going to be our new coffee. New coffee. And awesome. while we're here, oh, no. look at this. <laughs> Hi guys. We have been discussing it. Video on Chris, video. We got Heather. <laughs> we got Phil's over there. Logan Fly in his Keto Savage jersey. Oh, yeah. We got Tira's over there. Bear yeah. On the way over here, <laughs> and we fought, but like I won. Obvi clearly. Yeah, clearly you did. I won. Joe, what are you wearing? I'm wearing a warm jacket. And most of the fur <laughs> off of my jacket. Yeah, right. That skinny jeans don't go well in cold weather. No. <laughs> I'm my legs are so cold, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Put yeah, some pantyhose on that guy. Look who we found! It's Miss Susan from our Yay! group. Hi. Could Wish you, you all were here. Right? It's awesome. So we can, are having so much fun and it's just awesome meeting all you guys. Can you tell us a little bit about how far along you are? At well, 21 years old. I am 71. I don't believe this. And I have struggled my whole life. Spent thousands of dollars and this is the, the winner. I have done this only for three months. I'm still learning. But um, I did strict keto for two and a half months. Now I'm doing carnivar. I love it, love it, love it. I totally am, I have decreed, well, I have eliminated all my, all of my cravings and all of my binging. Awesome. And um, it's just such freedom. And also, I have to say that this group of people here are awesome. And these two are the bomb. You're the bomb. Oh, my you. goodness. And don't feel bad, because I've been doing this for three years, and I'm still figuring it out. Yeah, so. we're still figuring yeah. it out. Yeah, so it's awesome. Bye. Bye. Hey, Miss Beth. We are so excited to get to meet your beautiful daughter. Thank you for watching us. We love you. I want a, I want a hug. You need to come down here. I want, I want a hug straight from you. But I'm going to get all of the hugs from your, your daughter, and she's going to pass them on. Who is your mom? My mom is Beth Davis. Beth, Beth Davis. Davis. We love you. Thank you for being part of our family. Hi. I'm here to help. So... We have to clean up. Oh my gosh! If you guys could smell what this smells like. If in our ginger car. and vinegar had a baby. <laughs> so I've got to get this stuff out of here. Are you gonna hold this camera? Absolutely. We thought that the dog one might work better than a regular carpet cleaner. Oh my gosh! 
Oh, is this a tax write-off? Can I write off the cleaning supplies to clean the car that I got? So, the smell from kombucha is still a thing going on in the backseat of our the car. The worst part is it's freezing my hand and it's starting to freeze and crystallize in the rug. So I can't even wipe it up. We got like a bunch of terry cloth towels. Normally, I love a good slushy, but a kombucha slushy, not so magically delicious. First, you got to dry up the wet. There's a lot of wet. It's a half a gallon of kombucha in the back seat of our car. You know how when you have a toddler and they have just a Dixie cup worth of liquid and they can flood like whatever seat they're in. Imagine what a half a gallon can do. I hope none of you guys work for Avis Rental Car. If you do, you don't know us. We would just like to say we're sorry right now for renting your car. Hey Joe, it smells like you missed a spot. Do you wanna come do this? <laughs> okay, give me the cleaner. I use half the towels to wipe it up. Now it's gonna be half the bottle. Yay! Okay, so I ordered Buffalo Wild Wings. We're gonna take them back to the house to eat. And I think what we should do is on our way to Buffalo Wild Wings, see if we can find one of those do-it-yourself uh, car washes and then use the vacuum to suck this stuff up. I think it's a good plan. So I spent $10 on a carpet cleaner and towels and I froze my hands off trying to mop up that stuff. You did. And then we drove down the road and we found a gas station that has shampoo, vacuum, and fragrance. We forgot there were those things. Well, we don't have any of those in Florida because there's not a whole lot of need of, you know, like these self-clean car washes after going through a bunch of salt and stuff. So most of the car washes are either the ones at a gas station or the ones where you got to pay like $25. So they don't anticipate a bunch of people like... Spilling a half a gallon of kombucha in the back seat of their car? That's not something to prep for. You know what else that this needs though? Yeah. Quarters which we do not have. I don't have any quarters. So I guess I'm gonna have to run into the gas station. How much is it? It's 75 cents. How many quarters do you think we're gonna need? I think we're gonna need a good $5 worth. We're gonna go get quarters. Okay, I'm back. I got quarters. Quitters. They're brand new. Look how shiny They're brand new they are. They're super shiny. I almost don't wanna spend these. Man, well we got to because it smells terrible. <laughs> So they've got a spot selector or they've got foaming brush with lots of soap. What do you think? I think we need the foaming brush. Oh my gosh, just in talking, it's already beeping, we're out of time. Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up. I'm running out of time. Go faster. It's competitive car washing. Smelling a little better. I don't think we're gonna make the Olympic team if you don't hurry. It's a race, cause it's like 75 cents a minute. Can you beat your best time? It's not sucking. Oh man, this thing sucks. Or it doesn't suck. And that makes it it's suck. It's seriously not sucking. I can't feel my hands. Can I have my gloves? I can't feel my hands. Can I have my gloves? Oh go. my gosh, this is so funny. So the other vacuum wasn't working, so we put like $3 a quarters into it and then had to switch to another machine. We used up all our shiny quarters. None left. Oh, that's better. <laughs> spray some stuff to make it smell good now? I definitely think we're gonna need a backup plan. Wild cherry vanilla or new car smell? New car smell. I'm sure that that will absolutely come across as a new car. 
Okay, here we go. We're gonna cover up smell with more smell. We're gonna put a lot of this stuff. Wow, it totally smells like a gas station bathroom. Okay, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. Ah, uh, like a hotel. Actually, not a hotel. It smells like a motel. Should we get rid of the evidence? Yes. Okay, so now that I officially cannot feel my hands, they're frozen solid. And her car smells like a gas station bathroom. It's pretty bad. It's like a combination of kombucha, then the smell of the cleaning fluid that we sprayed down, mm -hmm. the smell of the cleaning fluid from the vacuum, Yeah. and then covered with wild cherry. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not new car smell. Say definitely that. not. I have a feeling though they're going to think we were covering up like maybe somebody got sick in the back. Yeah. What's the chance they're going to guess it was kombucha? Should we give them a quiz? <laughs> like, hey, guess what's that smell? I have a feeling that car rental companies get to play guess that smell more often than they would like. Well, it is now 1823. So that's 623. We're gonna head over to Buffalo Wild Wings. We just ordered wings. We're gonna take them back to the hotel and we're gonna, or a hotel, to the house. Yeah. And we're gonna eat them at the house. And then I don't know what, just kind of relax. Relax. Okay, we're back to the house. Hopefully the car is clean. I really hope so. Or at least clean enough that we don't get a giant fine from Avis. Yeah. And then we've got our Buffalo Wild Wings. Here's what we got. We've got 18 of the Desert Heat Dry Rub. 18 of spicy garlic. We've got some blue cheese, not the greatest ingredients in the world, but Just it's what case. we have. And then the lady from Omaha Baking Company gave us this. Look at this. This is the almond cream cheese pound cake. And uh, it is really good. I got how a sample you, of it. I was going to say, how do you know it's really good? Because she gave me a sample of it. And she was, I was like, it. that is really good. And she's like, well, why don't you take a loaf home? Because it was broken. See how it's like broken in the, in the middle? So she couldn't really sell it. Oh, absolutely. It's broken. So here's the thing. We have this entire thing. And uh, we can't obviously eat the whole thing. So I'm going to stick it in the freezer and then yeah. take it home. And then we can have some again in February. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, this has been an incredible weekend. Yeah, it has. I feel like we finally acclimated to the cold weather. And now it's time to go back to the hot. <laughs> Well, we still pretty much have a day because it's Saturday night. It's seven o'clock. Our flight's not leaving until tomorrow at seven o'clock. I think we get to have breakfast with Heather and Phil, possibly. Yeah, I think we're gonna go out to breakfast and Heather and Phil. We're gonna attempt to film Keto on the Couch. Maybe I'll try to edit it like while we're on the plane and stuff. I don't know how many comments are gonna be on Keto on the Couch because I don't have my computer set up to like pull them all, but I'm gonna pull as much as I can. As much as we can do. But overall, it was a lot of good, a lot of fun. There were a lot of great speakers. We got to spend some time talking to some different people. We spent some time talking to Dr. Barry, learning some things. Yeah. Uh, we talked to Nurse Cindy. So awesome stuff. I'm excited about some of the videos we're gonna be releasing this week with interviews with different people. I'm just really encouraged about the future of keto. Yeah. And every single day, week, month, it just keeps getting better. More information coming in and people who really have a heart for others, just like trying to do what they can do to encourage people in their realm of influence. And more doctors. So we didn't get any footage of it, but we had several doctors, MDs, just local like family doctors coming up to us, talking to us about like, I am talking about keto in my office. I mean, we had this one awesome lady Amazing. who was like, I don't care what my administrators say. She's like, if my administrators are telling me like, you need to see 12 patients in a day. And I'm like, no, fire me. I'm going to see six. Otherwise I can't like give them perfect care. I mean, it's just awesome to see more and more doctors stepping up saying, Hey, I know it's malpractice to say do keto and don't do drugs but there's nothing wrong with me telling you do keto and then you're gonna watch that you can slowly get off of the drugs. So they're working on their phrasing, yes. but the point of it all is, is that you're not alone. Yeah. You're not even alone as far as like the medical community is concerned. Right. People want to see other human beings 
get well. Well, we are gonna go eat our buffalo wild wings. So that is today's vlog. Please do us a favor and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. bye.